Hi guys, this is me behind PH. Here in the Philippines, in this time, I will going to talk and share on you about vermiculture or the worm casting. It, um, its benefits and how it works along with your soil and plant. Here at my front is a bean, a common bag that I that beside from selling it on junk shop. Uh, what if I'm going to use this as my uh, bean for my worms that I collected here in our house near the riverside? <clears throat> about about one year one year ago now when I started this type of project a vermiculture uh, this project was started when I found that some tiny uh, pops or casts in the surface of dense soil it looked like a poop or cast of cricket you know guys the worm cast or the cast from worm from worm is really look, look like a uh, poops or the cast of crickets, a smaller, a tiny, a small soil that is color in uh, that's black or brown. <clears throat> and that will start to flash back in my mind. And I remember the time when we got a tour somewhere uh, here in our area when I was a uh, college, maybe first year college. And it's about a year ago now. And that is about natural uh, agriculture, which uh, the plant, so many type, different plant, different type of plants. Mostly the let uh, came from the lettuce family, and they use a worm cast from uh, their vermiculture project. The why um, by using a ENC or the uh, African night crawler or the every daily something i don't re uh, remember the exact the exact scientific name of that kind of worm and i remember that the the worm that they use is uh cast or release a poops or a cast that is uh, similar to what i found uh beside here in our backyard uh, area uh, backyard near the riverside where I am now um, I'm going to show you the riverside maybe yes okay, let's. so here is the riverside at our front yard as you can see it is color green and look uh, I feel nature here at the front yard I really love the the present of me of, of air here and the moisture and the cool uh, the warm no it's like a uh, cool water or cold evaporation of water and so guys here and the time I, I saw that uh, that uh, casting I start to to pull out and try to to see what is inside the soil and I found out that there's it's a worm that is a flat in abdomen a little shorter uh, they don't have a ring on their on their head near their near their head so it means that they are not a enc or the african night color but it seems like uh it looks like a european night crawler which is red in color the red wigglers the this usual uh, that is also used for warm or vermiculture to produce a compost that is healthier and has many micronutrients and macronutrients like uh, nitrogen potassium and a phosphorus as well uh, mic uh, micronutrients is uh, sounds like and minerals it sounds like uh, boron the copper and uh, magnesium and uh, so many things that plants need and I've done my, so many trials up after this project being become successful and you know guys when you are starting in warm casting it's really dif uh, difficult to uh, to find out what worms what types of of um, colony or type of soil that worms like what type of of, of organic 
plants or organic matter you should add to your worms so they so they don't, so they don't uh, trying to get out from their beans and uh, also the place where you uh, where you should put your uh, bean that is uh, has a, a, a climate a temperature that is uh, ex enough or what your worms really like the important for, uh, for me of this type and size of bean is that as you can see here okay, it is uh, a handable bean which you, uh, where you can remove it when you need it um, so it is important of this type of bean of this size of bean it's not just big and it's, it's enough to hand to hold a hundred worms maybe a hundred worms uh, it's depending on you on what uh, what idea you want to go with or the does uh does the number of worm do you want to put on that bin so guys so it is uh handable and removable in case of needed uh to relook uh if you want to relocate it and an example is what happened last time during rainy season here in the philippines uh we hit by high tide where i lost uh, my bean that is more bigger than this a look like a plastic ball that is really big and uh, I'm trying to save but I, I can't water heat the bean and I lost it because uh, the water is about the height of water is about uh, one meter or just like exactly but it looks like one one meter height in the time that my uh, my my bean is I pulled I let it down because it's really difficult to pull out from the water I'm trying to say because it composed of more many worms and casts and it's a sad story and I learned from that I'm trying to to pull it out the the bean the, that I lost from the log water lag but I, I can't I can't do that I don't have enough uh, uh, strong to hold that type of bean so now I'm going to pull out what it and show you what is inside this bean here oh. the important of this is it is uh, it can be cool cold and by that you know guys worms like uh so many type of setup you can do different type of setup for your uh worm bean for me i'm i love to put this uh because as you can see here uh, there is some some line here it means that the worms go out uh, in the sur uh, go outside from this bean uh, go in the upper part or the sur in the surface of this of this sand of this mass of soil at night and the uh, the the cast their poops um, the surface so as you can see I really, really love to uh, a setup that has a a any um, uh, papers a moist paper on the app on the surface where they hide during the night and um, send out their poops or their casts this is the, uh, that is the natural uh, characteristic of worms the the cast in the surface of the of, of the vein or in the soil not in you know, in the lower or in the deeper side in the deeper part of this pin and so that's the important guys you can see here this uh this soil is really uh composed of so many nutrients and it is really a healthy type of compost to concal uh, to include to your soil your ordinary soil can by putting in or adding a worm casting it can enhance the 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 nutrients inside the soil and also the property of soil uh, me i like i really like 
most of my plans is uh, getting their nutrients through warm casting which is really uh, effective way to uh, to grow plants I already try to go a plants that is um, I try to use a uh, uh, true or or uh, are trying to go to use pure uh, warm casting is really work well with my uh, with my chili pepper uh, she is really grow in a six uh, liter of water and uh, I put um, warm casting of about uh, half of that six liter uh, bottle of water and the plants doing well um, if you have a, a, a compost it can it can uh, you can enhance that compost by trying to raise warm or doing your vermiculture project uh, because warm cast is uh, according to many study is more dense or, or com content of uh, nutrients that it is multiply inside the stomach of uh, the warm by bacteria the bacteria enhance those uh, nutrients and make it more dense and good for your plants and also uh, warm casting is uh, composed of bacteria a helpful bacteria for the plant growth which also help your plants to absorb nutrients from the soil and also convert the nutrients into uh, into plants needed into substance or chemical that plants can absorb it easily along the process which uh, uh, your compost or you have a compost or you uh, what type uh, foods you given to your worms the time that uh, it uh, go through inside the worm stomach and in process uh, after that it will enhance it will enhance by the bacteria present on the worm stomach the nutrient the nitrogen phosphorus present or the worms and potassium was multiplied during the process minerals and micronutrients was added like magnesium guys this is uh, what I'm talking about to you copper, boron, calcium, uh, manganese and so many more according um, to the different studies guys I already see I already read different type of studies and uh, how uh, worm casting works with your soil so, uh, so that's all guys so that's now you just try to grow your if you have some problem with your soil trying to grow warm uh, uh, trying to grow warm or make your own bean or to have a warm casting try to vermiculture because uh, this is really important in, in every agriculture purposes it, it enhance your soil guys can you even just imagine uh, that, that time that you put uh, so much uh, chemical uh, nutrients uh, in organic uh, in, in organic nut nutrients or inorganic fertilizer to your plants it can burn your plants but uh, <coughs> but uh, so much uh, but putting worm in in min in numbers or in a mass can't uh, can't burn or toxic your plants and also enhance your soil guys so guys thanks for watching bye bye so uh, before that uh, just please uh, subscribe share and leave some comments for, for me guys thanks and share your um, your story about warm uh, warm casting or beam culture thanks for watching guys bye